I checked the program of the Young Trimester program, um, and there was a week-long conference about Oxford, so maybe this topic fits uh, to that. And now, we, ah, <laughs> and of course, this eye is not Dennis's eye. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, notation is only unique locally. So, <laughs> right. Um, let's start with something classical. Rational homotopy theory, I maybe put this in brackets for now. So there's classical work by Fuller and Sullivan. So that's 69, 77. And they produce algebraic models of rational spaces. And, well, this isn't quite true. So what they did was simply connected finite type. So in Quillen's case, there was a model of the differential graded Lie algebra with some connectivity assumption. So, and co-commuted with Quasibus, well, PG Quasibus, of course. And then Sullivan came along and produced a model for the cochains of the space. So that's uh, his thing was APL cochains. So let me just write down what you should think of. Here you might want to think about uh, about rationalized homotopy groups of the space. Here uh, you might think of the singular chains of a space rationally, and here this is a model for the singular chains. So most, I think, the most used one of these is a Sullivan's model. But in some applications, the interplay between the different models is very important. So if you think about my rocket tarn elements, so you, you want to move back and forth, or duality between chains and co-chains. So that's important. Um, I should also mention Meissendorfer. So he uh, so he kept the finite type, but he uh, improved this to the Neapolitan spaces here, so you can have a nice fundamental group. So, of course, we don't usually want to do a rational homotopy theory, right? So, um, But um, we left torsion, right? So, so what about over the integers? And we know that, for instance, Sullivan's model is hopeless because we have seen an operation operations over FP. So, the cup one product over FP tells us. The singular cochains can never ever be a commutative differential graded algebra. So that's actually what this is. So this won't work integrally. So there's an obstruction in that way, obstruction, so this won't happen. And then there's a result by Mandel. I wanted to check today, but I didn't. I think the integral result is 06, but I'm not sure. Um, so you can use the code chains, but with its infinity structure. So why is this important? These models, let me make it like this, they determine 
determine the rational homology type. And so Mandel's result then tells you that this determines integral homology type. So that's important. But the downside is, well, those of you who have worked with infinity algebras know that they're, they're fun to, to define, but actually to work with them is a nightmare. So, and, but we know that we can't replace this with something commutative on the nose, so what's the way out? So and this is where the category I helps us, so our I. Where your finite sets and injections, and I will pick a skeleton. So, who's we? They are. <laughs> and then, um, the maps are just injective functions. Not all of preserving, but injective. And so what is the heuristic behind this? Um, the classifying space of this category is contractible because this is initial and this tells you that this category doesn't really introduce any extra homotopy types. If you take finite sets in bijections, this is wholly different. This is nicer to work with, but it will create homology of the symmetric groups and you don't want that. So this is nice, it doesn't hurt things. But on the other hand, we have a semantic group sitting in there. So the idea is that this gives you some sigma freeness. Um, and in some sense, this is as good as working over directionals. I will tell you in a Maybe half an hour away, this is not actually true, but um, there are some things that go on. Um, so, coming back to Stefan's question. So, we use this category and we build a functor category ordinary functor. Um, so then this has a day convolution product, you can concatenate the finite sets. Yeah, the tensor product on chain complexes, so you get the day convolution tensor product here. And this is rather explicit. Yeah? I think your your year is a bit uh, too uh, too uh, it's not 2002, I hope, Evaluate this factor in RTN, you just take all injections and evaluate x and y. And the co limit just takes maps in P and Q, so you are not allowed to cross them. So that's this. Right, and then the theorem says you can talk about commutative monoids now. And then so it's hey, so chain complexes are chain complexes over K and K is just a commutative ring. Any commutative ring. So this is a commutative monoid. And I think with a lot of nice properties, so it is commutative. That's one thing. Um, but it relates to the other things. So um, 
of the rationals. So I said this is important because it doesn't create extra homotopy type. And the way you integrate a noise chain complex to a chain complex is just by taking a homotopy filament. So the homotopy filament over I of this thing over the rationals is equivalent by a zigzag to Solomon's curve chains over any ring you get a, a, a statement about chain complexes? Yes, this is in chain complexes. But would the infinity structure? What? I think it's with the infinity structure. This is strictly commutative. Yeah, so if I take the infinity, the left hand side is the infinity, and it's yeah. with And you can rigidify, but there's a thing in the middle here. So, so there is no multiplicative structure there, for instance, which could <coughs> bring you to the idea to study minimal models here. Yeah. It's as strict that you can transfer the structure if you want to. Um, so this is equivalent also by zigzag to the Similar code chains. And last but not least, using Mandel's result, you can compare its infinity structure and then apply, well, compare it really to Mandel in the sense that you prove that this is then a sort of cohomology functor in a good sense or code chain functor in this sense. So you get, say, of the integers that this determines. The integral of homotopy type for, of course, same assumptions as always of finite type equation. So, so the option is yes, you can do something strictly commutative. You get rid of the homotopy commutativity of the infinity structure, but you pay the price of introducing that value. So, but if you read the title of the talk, this is not about the modern structures. Um, so the question is, well, you could ask about lean things, but today, um, I want to talk about what can we say about the chains. The chain. The singular chains of the space are an um, infinity differentiated power algebra where the structure comes from the Alexander Whitney map. So there are ludicrous claims about what this says about the hoop homotopy type. Well, this is recorded, but um, anyway. <laughs> so, but before you can try to do this, um, one better understand how this has a chance to work. So so there are two main issues. Before you even ask whether you can write on a model, um, so So I want to be it sends commutative monoids to the infinity things. That's true for spaces and for chain complexes. So, but if we want to deal with the chains on a space, we have to uh, control the co-monoid structure of the homotopy colimit. So there are two obvious questions um, one has to start to, to answer before one even thinks about going into the direction of differential graded infinity for algebra. So the first one is um, we want 
say, um, we want that this goes to the drink to create the infinity card, but well that's the first question, is this true? And then the second one, um, well, we had these zigzags and they come from underlying quillum equivalences. So you, you can try to do other things, but um, what I tried in this thing was to find more pathway structures. Um, and it's, you should be careful what you want, it's, it will be hopeless in general, but um, we only want connected spaces anyway. Connected co commutative uh, co algebras. And I change. And because this is an utterly long work, how about I wish it really like this. And then um, the good news is A works, and the bad news is B doesn't in our uh, most standard model structure you could try to put on that. So, and I have to admit that I was actually utterly wrong about this. For quite some time, I believed that this would work. I even asked a master student to work on this model structure. <laughs> the poor guy. Um, <laughs> well, he had some other results, but yeah. And he learned a lot of things, but this didn't work out. So, question so far. So, that's so, all. One question. So, if the model structure doesn't work, you still have a relative category. Can you say something? Have you have enough structure, even if the full model structure doesn't work, to say reasonable things about the localization that comes from the relative category? Can you still say things like, you know, it's co-complete, it's equivalent to what infinity category you would be doing, or can you I, just I not say anything? Uh, can I come back to this after I tell you why this doesn't work? Because we have some hope that it, something works. But <laughs> it's, it's different. <laughs> so, and so, quite often homotopy coordinates are abstract things. You have some cofiber replacement and some diagram pathway, and then you take the coordinate, or you do something else. Or you just have an abstract existence written result as some adjoint contour, derived adjoint contour. So, here this is different, so if I take an I-string complex, the homotopy coordinate is explicit. It's the total complex of something you can write down. Except for that I usually confuse my own notation. This should be the nerve direction. And all morphisms are in the category I. So and here I take the internal differential, and this is a chain complex on every level. So and so on and so forth. So, so this is just the total complex of a bicomplex. So you have the usual spectral sequences. So you can calculate with this thing. So this direction is just the internal direction of x, so this is the internal uh, differential here on x. So it's the internal direction. And that's the nerve direction. And 
The differential is mostly just given by the differential of not except for a zero space map. So if I have a string of morphisms and an innocent element in X, then if I keep the morphisms except the, for the first one, and this acts on X. The other face maps are just in the line. So. so what is good about this, this is very explicit. And you can control the damage it does. So, um, so let me state a theorem. Open up high from I chains to chains is E infinity homonoidal. And let me just do tell you some remarks about this, what this actually means. So, This means that um, there's an infinity operator in this case, not a co operator, which is slightly annoying. But um, and you have action maps that tears the product apart inside of the whole of the color. to be a co-commutative commonoid. Then what do you get? Well, you have the homotopy tournament of X in chain complexes now. You take uh, inside, you take the diagonal of X. And then um, now let's do this. Forget the four upright. Um, and then you tear things off. Come on. Um, so, and this then gives you a co multiplication of X star whose coherences are governed by this infinity operator. So, in particular, this will be an infinity. How differential grade for So that was point A, so point A just works. So let me give you some indication of the proof. Um, divide and conquer. This is the composite where well, one composite pretty clear. I wrote this as the total complex of sum. Um, then you take an associated chain complex and then you take something like in uh, Austria Khan, you take a diagram 
and a diagonal category and you took out from it a simplicial diagram. So, so this is just a photo complex. Uh, this goes from simplicial chain complexes to bi-complexes. Let, let me just write this like this. If you're bored, you can just pronounce this in your head. And this goes from bi-chains to simplicial chains. So if you want to prove that this is the infinity cohomology, you better just tell us some, say something about the pieces. Um, in the paper with, with Steffen, we actually use that this is strong symmetric monoidal, but then it's also strong symmetric co-monoidal. So. Uh, for the chains, um, the usual chains um, from, say, simplicial modules to chain complexes are E infinity co-monoidal. So, I allow myself to put my name here, then uh, Daga and Fess. That's all four. Um, yeah. But the mass is actually contained in, in Dolph's table from 64. So, and, and then what you have to do is to check that the extra chain direction doesn't introduce any non solvable sign issues or so. This extends to simple two chains to double complexes. And so the last bit that better behaves well is simplicial, the simplicial diagram. What is this? This has a simplicial direction and a chain direction. So you just take things in the nerve. That's the simplicial direction, and then you have internal deepening. Mean, let me put here an M, otherwise we get confused. And we evaluate this on the source of that form. And this is actually lex symmetric cohomology. Um, you also get the tensor formula that I wrote down. So what I wanted is the diagram corresponding to the tensor product that this splits up in a nice way, like this. This is the tensor product of simplicial chain complexes. This is why well, this has this nice hat on it. Um, so what you do is Remember, you have a nerve direction and then you have this tensor product where you have a co-limit. So if you take a nerve element and an equivalence class and the co-limit, so a nerve, say, from A plus B to the source of F1, tensor X, tensor Y, where X is in XA, Y is in YB. We just send this to the same nerve thing. Let me just write this as f bar. And then you, you shove things, you precompose with the inclusion that maps a into a plus b and b into a plus b in a reasonable manner, and you apply your functor. And you repeat the nerve direction, which is important because the nerve doesn't come along if you swap things. So, um, that's an I If you swap things all as well, because I and J interchange the all, so this is really like symmetric homonoidal. Right, so, end of proof doesn't fit there anymore. 
So uh, this was the good news. To so, those sorry, can I ask? I mean, this uh, I mean, this proof suggests that the homotopy coding this sort of well, infinity lacks cohomology, but I thought it should be strong cohomology. No, no, no. It's just the map, right? Which is coherent. It's strong enough to give a coaction value of that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't but give you this the one. Method, I think what I want to ask maybe is the map of quasi isomorphism. I mean, the, the comparison map is not an ISO, but it's like a quasi ISO at least. Yes. Okay, so. so or if okay, you have okay, enough good. profiling, you it's okay. Okay, good, good. Yeah. It's actually free enough to say flat somewhere, but um, I didn't check that. Yeah. But in coherence, it's, okay. it's a homology. But is it yeah. on both sides like fully homology? So it's it only coherence? I don't know. This is also the leftover part. Um, um, I'm a bit skeptical. It's, this is still the box part of I spaces, and no new and space I, really means simple sets, right? Or, I change. Oh, I change. I change complexes are not as strict as spaces, so. Uh, it's not in show you work with the. No, that's what space is. Space is right? Yeah. Space is a lot, way more richer, right? Um, so that was the good news, the, the bad news comes now. situation that's almost as good as over Q. Um, so let's say that is number one. modules by things that are more general. Um, so, over okay. here, in I chains, well, one problem is that you can embed the category of chain complexes into I chain complexes by doing a constant filter. So this is really, really bad because we know that over a general ring, the law map is not an ISO. So, a constant diagram. Um, so, the, the least thing you have to do is to cut away degree zero or level zero because otherwise there is no hope that things can work out. You, you import Sorry, all the can you, can you uh, remind me what the existence of the norm map has to do with the existence of model structures on any kind of work? What? Okay, okay. Um, I mean, what, what's the problem? These things are hard to compute. Usually, this is much easier to control a cyclicity or something. So, it turns out that these things will preserve the cyclic things, but this won't. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the spoiler for later. Um, bear with me. Okay. Um, so you have to cut away degree zero, so x 
try an ice chain complex, I should be a pretty different multiplication. It's the zeros. If it's just zero and level zero, so that says you can't really import all the trouble from chain complexes. So then for quite a long time I thought that this is good enough. It's all you need to exclude. Um, it's not. So there's a reduced C star in I chains are uh, such that the more map of uh, X star from the co invariants to the invariant. something that's not started in degree zero, this will be actually an isomorphism. So if you want to prove, for instance, model category structure on for the positive level model structure, this is fine because it will send the cyclic to the cyclics. These things have a normal. So for instance, divided power structures are the same as just commutative structures for these things. But wouldn't a more natural thing to hope for for this to be a quasi isomorphism on sufficiently co-primal things? It's, yeah. 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 So by the way, your C and X are the same thing, I guess. Oh yes. Um, I've changed the notation here, which was a really dumb idea. Thanks. Um, how do you prove this? Well, <laughs> you really get your hands dirty. Um, so, this is actually a constant thing. It's the free thing on zero. Zero is initial, so if you map zero into something that exactly one map. So this is the constant diagram on X. Um, And then you can do something even more stupid. You can place things where the trouble is, maybe level zero. Sorry. Um, so you place this in n equals zero and zero. And then you take a reduced version of this troublemaker by taking the kernel of the constant diagram mapping to the thing that just sits in equal zero is nasty. So this is then reduced. You just you, you, they, they agree in equal zero, so you, you just thought you'd go away the trouble, but you don't. We just produce exclusive elements that are not oh. uh, I forgot the stupid assumption. Of course, if you work in the records, everything is fine. But if you can't invert every number you can think of in this list. And of course, we don't want to have the rationals inside, and we didn't have to do this way. And if I want to find something that's visibly not in the image of the norm map, well, the norm sums of all the group elements in the symmetric group. So if you have a single tensor generator, this is never ever an image of the norm unless you can divide by two. 
And then you can find other things. That's actually in the level four. So you have to play around with it. This is actually, this, is, this was a lockdown group. So you just sit there, you can't do anything. So you look for elements, right? <laughs> um, so this is not in the unit. Well, the color of it goes backwards. And the trick is, four is big enough, write it as two plus two, then you go back to one plus one eventually, and then you can squeeze things over. And despite the fact that you are not allowed to switch in the mat max of the colon, this is still bad enough that you'll find an invariant element that doesn't come from the colon areas. Right. Um, so what's the trouble now? Uh, so, yeah, and then you find higher elements, but they are the same flavor. You can do induction and find a troublemaker for every symmetric group. Um, so that means two. So, we want to model the chain singular chains on a connected space. I might be willing to reduce it, so I'm really happy to work with chain complexes that start in degree one, and I take i chains, and then I reduce them. So just a reduced version of the singular chain complex. Um, Then I have my category of connected co-commutative coadjuvants, and I have such a thing. So these things are always of the form a reduction plus the unit object. Uh, and you just sense this to the reduction, so it ends up here. And gamma is uh, just the co-free, co-free connected co-commutative coadjuvant generated by something that's good. Um, co-free. This takes a bit of work, but it's actually an adaptation of Quillen's old proof and, and the rational homotopy theory paper. You just have to sneak around a bit. So, and now usually what you would try to do um, there's work by, oh, I mustn't forget anyone. Uh, has, has 
feel like the antiseptic. Uh, that's 17. That was a mistake, and now uh, that is corrected by Donna Ketchorik. And here, a bit later, in 30. Um, and they talk about left induced model structures. Well, usually, usually you are interested in model structures on some type of algebra, commutative algebras, or the algebras, or whatnot. And they are usually right and used. But here, this is the opposite because this is pro free. So everything is upside down. And the main problem is you don't have, a, there's no good notion of a fibrin heat generated model structure. That's maybe the main issue. So this is quite involved. So you would try um, a map of co as a co collaboration if its underlying map is one. And it's a weak equivalent if the underlying thing is a weak equivalent. And here you would aim at maps that induce weak equivalences on the homotopy problem. Or quasi ideal on the homotopy problem. This is fixed, this you don't want to change. So, what is the issue now? This thing that lives in the invariance but not in the co-invariance actually causes homology to survive. So, close on that. Um, so, for the experts on chain, com I chain complexes, um, I would start with a projectless model structure, reduce it a bit, and then uh, stabilize with respect to the homotopy filament equivalences, uh, and then try the left and this one. For all the others, it's pretty, the only important thing to note is that you take the homotopy filament equivalences. So let me try to spread this extremely informally as it doesn't work. And the truth is, um, with, with reduced thingy and a disk is a cyclic and fibrin. You find a non trivial homology group, and this survives to the homotopy colorant. Um, oh, sorry, on the homotopy colorant. There is a non trivial homology group in degree 5. Um, so, this is really hands on. Um, in minus one minute, um, so there is no left induced model structure if you take the standard model structure on uh, reduced connected chain complexes, I chain complexes, that comes from the stabilization of the projective model structure. Um, and then you just can't get such a monster structure on 
cognitive causes. So the trouble really comes from this archaeophile moment, the anisomorphism. So I didn't put that tape on the archive yet. I just put it on my home page, but Stefan found it. <laughs> so he said, did you try a flat model structure, or did you try to work with the flat objects in things? So this is ongoing going to work with Stefan Sagawa. So maybe that works. Flat objects. They satisfy a latching condition, and the hope is that for flat objects, the moment for flat reduced objects, the moment might actually always be an isomorphism. And the hope is to use joint work with of Stefan with Stefan with Stefan, um, where they identify team M modules where M is this monoid of, of injective maps from the natural numbers to themselves and flat i spaces and there you get some zigzag of non-moral structures and you get an element of Krishna that may like monoidal product and there the sigma action is actually free on the space level so it's probably induced on the chain level that would be enough to for tape vanishing, and that would give the moment. It's a nice, and now shut up.